Buenos dias, que pasó, you guys? John's Moto Garage back in action. Welcome to the channel. What the heck? Que pasó, welcome back to the channel, John's Moto Garage. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go check out a Honda Fury, but before we do, I wanna say thanks a bunch to all my subs, everybody who watches, comments, and supports the channel. We hit the big 1,000, so it couldn't be more thrilled and stoked on that. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned to the very end to see if I end up buying the bike. This is one I found on OfferUp, I think, or Craigslist, I forget which, but enjoy. All right, amigos, que paso, John's Moto Garage. We're back at it again. Today, we're rolling atop a, another Honda Fury. I had a Fury on the channel not too long ago, so go check out that video. That one was a white one. Today, we're mobbing on a 2010 black Honda Fury. This one's got 11,223 miles. And if you're new to the channel, then first of all, gracias for stopping by. Hopefully you find some entertainment or at least some info use. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you find some entertainment or at least some useful information. Um, today I want to show you a couple things. One thing I encounter often, especially in the used market, and it's just the name of the game, is you run into stuff where obviously you show up and the bike is not as advertised. That's kind of the cliche with Craigslist actually is it's not as advertised that's the norm unfortunately so it's a pleasant surprise when you show up and something is you know nicer than you expected but anyway i'm gonna take a quick picture here so it's a 2010 honda fury one owner bike he's got aftermarket two to one vans and heinz exhaust actually sounds pretty good bike's got 11,222 miles and I've learned over time kind of the, some of the questions you want to ask people when you're looking at a used motorcycle. And one of the things I always ask about is the tires, have they been replaced? Are they still original? He told me the rear had been replaced, which it looks good, so that checked out. But then I also asked, has it ever been dumped, dropped, laid down, anything like that? I asked him that before coming out because this is a pretty long drive, 45 plus minutes. He said the bike had never been, he said it had a scuff on the uh, rear turn signal, and that was it. Well, you do have a scuff on the rear turn signal but if you follow the evidence you also see a pretty good scuff here on the swing arm scuff there scuff over here but then the thing that really gets me is you can barely tell but on the tank here you've actually got a small indent and paint is chipped so in other words the bike Cosmetically, it's just not in the condition that it needs to be. But, we'll kind of see how she rolls mechanically here. Now, one of the reasons that's so frustrating is because if you're going to put excellent condition and then have somebody drive, you know, all the way out to check it out, but you've got scuffs and dings and dents and things like that in the tank, then it's just a little bit, a little bit misleading. But like I said, that's the name of the game. So I've owned a few of these uh, Furies before. And as far as the bike itself goes, I really dig these. If you want a factory chopper, you know, straight from the factory, Honda does the best job providing that at a very reasonable price. You got a 1300 liquid cooled five speed shaft drive. And it sits real low to the ground. It definitely has that chopper look. They're super smooth. The shaft drive is extremely smooth. The gearbox is not clunky at all. You know, you shift seamlessly through the gears. And this one, as far as all that goes, it's nice. It's got it. I mean, it shifts smooth. It sounds really good. No surging when you accelerate. So as far as the mechanics go on this bike, it actually seems pretty solid. My problem though is I was gonna pay 4,000 bucks for this bike. If you've watched the last Honda Fury that I had I paid four thousand dollars for but the difference in condition is night and day that last one was immaculate beautiful beautiful condition it only had like 7300 miles you could tell it had just been very well cared for I uh yeah I don't know so stay tuned let's see what ends up happening if I can find my way back to this guy's house we'll see if we end up buying the bike or not I like how it rides and runs 
I'm just hung up a little bit on some of the cosmetics. And so that may be where it's a deal breaker. But as far as just like a mini review and impression on the bike, the Honda Furies, they sit low to the ground. The 1300 has plenty of, you know, plenty of punch to it, plenty of power. You can cruise at freeway speeds fine, but there's something real fun about these bikes. And I think it's just kind of a combination of how lightweight they are and how powerful they are. And just, you know, Honda did a good job all in all. It's not gonna be the biggest bike out there on the street, but it will definitely turn heads. And so, you know, I can see why people would would pick this bike another very comparable bike to this that we've talked about often is the yamaha striker also a 1300 chopper style looking motorcycle so if you like the fury check out the striker that may be another option to check out all right you guys we're about to roll back to the house so stay tuned i'll let you know whether or not i end up deciding to buy the moto and we'll go from there man i always get lost where the heck does this guy live So as you can see by my demeanor, I'm super bummed out. Unfortunately, the Fury did not pan out for the reasons I went into. Cosmetically, it was a little rough around the edges, and really that was the big thing with the Fury. For the price, it just wasn't gonna be enough. So I ended up not buying that bike, but the dude was asking 4,000 bucks for it, which, you know, it's still a fair price, but my last Fury, I paid $4,000, and that thing was immaculate. So in comparison for me, wasn't gonna do it. All right, you guys, John's Moto Garage. Hopefully you enjoy the channel and the content. If you do, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it, and we'll hit you guys up on the next one. Hasta luego, ride safe, nos vemos.